Corbet Graphic Design. At Corbet Graphic Design, the value to the customer is number one in considering the project. Uh, Corbet Graphic Design with Norma Corbet at the helm has been uh, really helping me with my website, VideoGamersOasis.com. He's stripping it down the old, building up the new, and turning it into a very professional looking website. I highly recommend if you need high quality graphic design and website design, CorbetGraphicDesign.ca. This has been a paid 30 second video ad for one of my patrons. If you would like a 30 second video ad at the beginning, middle or end of my new videos, become a $25 patron at www.patreon.com forward slash video gamers oasis play theater. Welcome back to Video Gamers Voices Play Theater. I'm your host, Mickey. How you doing, guys? We are doing some uh, more of our Ben Jordan Paranormal Investigator walkthrough. We've moved along quite uh, quite advanced in the game. So let's see where we are now. We're in the Rome Hotel. Um, <clears throat> we have some further unraveling. Um, we followed our adventure so far, um, Renzi has uh, supposedly hung himself in his, uh, hanged himself in his cell, a mysterious uh, Vatican official had visited him prior to, prior to death, so now he's moving on, now Ben Jordan is moving on to see, to unravel the case, he's talked to the Father McMacanera, and now he's going to talk to Got him Simon, in Simon Booth. Certainly. Uh, research. Do you think you could look something up for me? Sure, what do you need? I don't need to research anything else. Okay, we don't need to research anything. Any advice? You got any ideas of what I should do next? Not really. You seem to be doing fine on your own. Okay, so that's all. That's all for now. Right. We're going to be on our way outside. See if we can get to the bottom of this. Bye, Simon. I'll be back soon. See ya. Else can we go now? Basilica di San Pietro. Right to the basilica now. Swiss Guard. A Swiss Guard stands solemnly at the entrance to St. Peter's Basilica. Let's talk to him. Anything interesting happening around here? The guard does not respond. Let's ask him a question. Could I ask you a few questions? If you must. Um, St. Peter's Basilica. Can you tell me anything about St. <clears throat> Peter's? Sir, I am not the tour guide. If you wish to know more about the building, I'm sure there's someone inside who can help you. Okay. Uh, tell me about yourself. What's it like being a Swiss guard? <coughs> Try standing around in front of a door all day long and you'll get the idea. It's not all bad, though. I get to live here in Vatican City, away from Rome. You don't like Rome? Hmm? No, I love Rome. It's just the Romans I can't stand. They drive like lunatics, are always shouting, and the street performers. Oh, God, I can't even think about those awful street performers without feeling sick. Oh, good. Now you've made me sick. I hope you're happy. In a way, I sort of am. Please go away. I'm trying to do my job here. Okay. Vincenzo Bianchi. Do you know someone who works here named Vincenzo Bianchi? <coughs> Vincenzo Bianchi? No. I do not know him. But, as I only guard the entrance to the Basilica, I'm not familiar with its employees. You should see Cardinal Genovese. He knows everyone around here. Cardinal Genovese, okay. Where can I find Cardinal Genovese? Oh, he's not very hard to find. He's the most sociable cardinal I've ever seen. You'll probably run into him just by going inside. Hmm. Thanks for your time. Yes, yes. Goodbye. Okay, that's helpful. Temple guard. Let's 
save our progress. And move forward. <clears throat> statue. A small statue of a priest with an outstretched hand is set into the altarpiece. <coughs> While shaking the statue's hand seems tempting, you get the feeling you might get in trouble for touching the statues in here. A statue? It's a large stone statue of a priest. Something about this blank, his blank stare gives you the creeps. What's this? A sign. There is a small sign hanging on a rope. In several languages it reads, No visitors beyond this point. A plain wooden door is in an area that has been cordoned off. It must lead to a private area. Sign. There is a small sign hanging over the door. However, it seems to be in Italian. Oh, there's the cardinal. It's a large stone statue of a priest. Something about this, his blank stare gives you the creeps. Cardinal Genovese. An old cardinal is admiring a statue. He must be Cardinal Genovese. Let's talk to him. You consider making small talk, but realize you have nothing to say to a cardinal. Let's ask a question. Excuse me, are you Cardinal Genovese? Yes, I am. May yeah. I help you with something? Hmm. Yes. Um, tell me about yourself. So how long have you been a cardinal here? Oh. For quite some time, I consider myself incredibly fortunate in that respect. Indeed. St. Peter's Basilica. Is there anything you can tell me about the Basilica? There is much I can tell you. What specifically would you like to know? Oh, I don't know. Just tell me anything that comes to mind. Well, let me see. This is the largest church in Christianity. It is built over the old St. Peter's Basilica, where the tomb of St. Peter lies. Speaking of tombs, there are 91 popes buried here. Wow, that's a lot of popes. Where do they fit them all? Many of them are located under the basilica, in a crypt. We sometimes refer to it as the Vatican Grotto. How do you get down there? There is an entrance further in the basilica. I'm sure you can find a tour that will take you downstairs. I'm not really much of the tour type, but maybe I'll check it out on my own. Okay. Vincenzo Bianchi. I'm looking for a man named Vincenzo Bianchi. Do you know him? Bianchi? Yes, hmm. I do know him. Okay. He works here in the Basilica. Great. Do you think I could speak with him? May I ask what this is in regards to? I just have a few questions I'd like to ask him. I see. I'm sure he would be willing to see you. But unfortunately, he is not in his office today. Bianchi's office. Where is Bianchi's office? It's just past that door over there. But as I told you, Mr. Bianchi is not in today. If you come back tomorrow, I'm sure he will see you then. Thanks for your help. It was my pleasure. Okay. St. Peter's Basilica. Excuse me, Your Eminence? Ah, hello again, my child. How may I help you? Thanks for your help. It was my pleasure. All right, moving on. Statue. It's a huge statue of some guy in a cape flexing his bicep. Sometimes you wonder what was going through these, <laughs> these sculptor's heads. Confessional. A large confessional features prominently in the corner in this corner of the basilica. You get the feeling someone is trying to tell you something. Time to confess and see if we can play the role of a penitent um, supplicant. The confessional feels really old. Like really old.
There's the door. Let's go in there. Okay. You play the tape and find it's blank. Okay. Anything you can do with this tape? Bench. Seem to work. You place the tape recorder on the shelf. Gong. All right, we're getting somewhere. All right. <clears throat> A small window allows for the person in the confession to talk to the priest in the next booth. A small bench is provided for people to sit and while on on while confessing. Right. Tape recorder. Record. There's no need to do that right now. Can I talk? There's nobody in the booth right now. All right. We'll see our progress. Is there any way we can? Talk to someone. Excuse me, Your Eminence. Ah, hello again, he is again. How may I help you? Confession. Your Eminence, I have a favor to ask. Of course. What do you need? I saw the confessional over there and realized it's been a while. Say no more. I will be happy to listen. This way, please. Here we go. Please have a seat so we may begin. Let's record the, t the press the record button and the tape begins to record. Whenever you're ready, my child. Let's uh, make our confession. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Confess anger, envy, gluttony, greed, or sloth. Hmm. What would that be? I, I'm an envious person. I'm envious of other people, of other people's success and happiness. When I was in Greece, I got really jealous. This guy named Vagos was flirting with my friend Alice, and it really got to me. I felt some irrational urges. I mean, I didn't act on them, but they were there. You quickly shut off the tape recorder. Now you've got your confession on tape. That is of the greatest importance. <clears throat> what you felt is only natural and easily forgiven by God. Say to our fathers and you shall be forgiven. Thank you, Your Eminence. My pleasure. Go in peace, my child. All right. Let's move on our way. Can we go now? All right, let's go back to the police station. This is, we're going to Renzi's cell. There seems to be a crumpled up piece of paper on the floor in front of Renzi's cell. Bend down to pick up the piece of paper and see that it is a handwritten note. What's on the note? It's Renzi's suicide note. It reads, Mr. Jordan, I cannot take the guilt anymore. They have made me realize that my life is no longer worth living. Please forgive me for making you come all this way for nothing. Alexandro. Turn the note over and find that it's got some sort of faint image on the back. 
what is the image? The back of the note has got some what looks like a faint image drawn on it. Interesting. Rub your finger over the back of the note, but it doesn't help you see the image any clearer. We'll save this as Renzi's note. Save progress. Go back to the hotel. Maybe uh, Simon can help us. Simon doesn't want any of your junk. Can you ask a question? Got a minute, Simon? Certainly. Um, <clears throat> for research. You think you could look something up for me? Sure, what do you need? I don't need to research anything else. Advice? You got any ideas of what I should do next? Not really, you seem to be doing fine on your own. That's all for now. Right. I'm gonna go look into some stuff. See ya. Uh, let's go to the Basilica of St. Pietro. Let's go back to the Cardinal, do another confession. Excuse me, Your Eminence? Ah, hello again, my child. How may I help you? Ah, yes. Do you think I could confess Confession. again? So soon? Yeah, I'm not feeling totally absolved yet. Very well. Let us go. Please, have a seat so we may begin. Whenever you're ready, my child. Press the tape recorder. Press play. You play back the tape of your previous confession. This should keep him busy for a while. Alright, let's get moving. Put a little skullduggery, a little bit of... A little bit of, uh, undercover action here. You step over the rope and into the door. Save this as forbidden office, forbidden door. It's a large portrait of the Pope. The eyes seem to be watching your every move, making you somewhat uneasy about breaking and entering. The, the small gold nameplate indicates that this door leads to the office of V. Bianchi. A small golden nameplate indicates that this door leads to the office of Yu Hiko. And Bianchi then. What's this? Chair. A colorful looking chair is propped up against the wall. It's a painting of a, of a saint carrying an infant. The plaque on the bottom indicates, identifies him as Saint Anthony. So we'll just save this as Bianchi. Office. The bookshelf contains an entire set of Catholic of the Catholic Encyclopedia. A small sheet of papers on the desk. An odd-looking gold bar is sitting on top of the desk. It has a small hole at the top, shaped like a hexagon. Notepad. Look through the notepad in hopes of finding some clues. A few pages in, you find a strange symbol which has been hand drawn. What's the symbol say? Okay. 
gold blocks. Try sticking your finger in the hole in the box when nothing happens. Browse through the books, we'll find nothing in particular interesting or helpful. Upon closer examination, you see that the paper is a letter. You quickly read it. Mr. Bianchi, I am pleased to hear of your recent success. Surely this means the great task is nearly completed? I shall be traveling to Rome within the next few days. I would very much like to speak with you about this. Are you still living at the apartment? On Via Casamero, Gennari. Well, to see looks you like I found out where Bianchi lives. That might come in handy. All right. You don't want the Bianchi stamp. All right, save the progress. Let's be on our way. I gotta get moving. Oh, okay. So apparently he didn't notice that I was there. That's good. Save a pro progress as, as uh, <clears throat> here's Basilica. Dante, uh, let's ask some questions. Got a minute, Simon? Certainly. Do you think you could look something uh, up for research. me? Sure, what do you need? Let's research, come on. Uh, I Via Casimero Gennari. He lives on a street named Via Casimero Gennari. Could you find out where that is? Yeah, okay. sure. Here we go. There, I marked it on your map. Does this mean you're going to his house then? Yeah, I want to talk to him about all this. I don't know if you should go alone, Ben. From what you've said, he doesn't sound like the friendliest of people. I think Alice is right. You might want to think about taking one of us along with you, just in case. And of course by one of us, I mean the one you need to stop ignoring and spend some quality time alone with before she changes her mind about being your girlfriend. Keep it down, would you? I'm not even 100% sure she is my girlfriend. What are you two whispering about over there? Nothing. Guy stuff. Smooth. Nothing. <laughs> I don't need to research anything else. <laughs> that's all for now. Uh, that's all. Right. Well, maybe we can ask him some advice. Let's save our progress at the hotel. Got a minute, Simon? Certainly. You got any ideas of what I should do next? Not really. You seem to be doing fine on your own. That's all for now. Right. That's all. Let's uh, let's go talk to Alice. Hey, Alice. Can we talk? Sure. What is it? You got any uh, ideas of what I should uh, do next? Uh, I advice. think you should go to Bianchi's apartment and see what you can find out. But I don't think you should go alone. Alice, would you mind coming with me to Bianchi's apartment? <clears throat> Not at all. I think getting inside will be easier if we work as a team. Better get back to That's it. That's all. Okay. Let's save our progress. No motel. And on that note, we'll take a little break and we'll continue another day. Hey, Miss, thanks for watching me play Ben Jordan, case number seven, The Cardinal Sins. We made some really, uh, we made some really um, uh, good progress. We'll be able to uh, obtain some information from Bianchi's office. We'll continue this another day and see if we can unravel the mystery that's involved with this, this very strange uh, crime, crime investigation. I would appreciate it if you would like this video, 
Add it to your favorites. Leave comments below. Share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, all those social media websites that you use on a daily basis. Subscribe to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. Um, check out the links below. Check out my Patreon. I'm, I do some just some interesting perks for you. If you want to promote your YouTube uh, YouTube business or your your website business, uh, shadow uh, shadows as well. Uh, check out the links below and check out the Patreon uh, perks. I'm your host, Miki. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll talk to you real soon. You're watching Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. Video Gamers Oasis uh, website. Uh, promotional gaming videos of, of yesterday and today. We'll talk to you again real soon. Bye.